very very good morning dear students hope you are doing well dear students today i am going to start the chapter power sharing and today i am going to describe three very important topic first topic would be ethnic composition of belgium and second topic would be the ethnic composition of sri lanka and third would be majoritarianism so i will describe why power sharing is very very important and what is meaning of power sharing and i will also describe what will happen if power sharing is not exercised in a country so dear students hope you will enjoy video so i am going to start this video thank you very very good morning dear students it's me danish azam faculty of social science dear students today i am going to describe this question how ethnic composition of belgium is complex write five points so dear students chapter is power sharing and power sharing is very very important in a democracy and if i say that power sharing is very important aspect of democracy i am not wrong so why power sharing is very very important so we are going to discuss two case study one case study is uh, related to belgium and second case study is related to sri lanka so after doing this two case study we will be capable to understand why power sharing is very very important in a country so let's describe question number 1 how ethnic composition of belgium is complex so dear students belgium is a country is smaller than haryana okay and we can divide belgium into two very famous geographical region so first geographical region is known as flemish region and second geographical region is known as wallonia region okay so 59% of belgian people live in flemish region and they speak dutch language they speak dutch language and 40% of belgian people live in wallonia region and they speak french language they speak french language it means that people speaking dutch language is in majority in belgium and people speaking french language is in minority in belgium okay but the case of brazil is very unique so 80% population of brazil speak french language and 20% of population of brazil speak dutch language it means that people speaking french language is in minority in the whole of belgium but that people speaking french language is in majority in the capital city of belgium that is brussels and people speaking dutch language is in majority in belgium but people speaking dutch language is in minority in its capital brussels so therefore ethnic composition of belgium is considered very complex and the french people who is in minority in belgium is relatively richer and uh, wealthier and they are more educated than people speaking dutch language therefore you know a rivalry emerged between this two section of society this two community and uh, that led to a uh, communal strife and communal problem and communal tension between year of 1950 1960 and that problem was uh, at least resolved by power sharing therefore uh, case study of belgium is very very important in power sharing now i am going to describe question number 2 diverse population of sri lanka led to intercommunal tension and civil war justify the statement this study of sri lanka is also very very important in the chapter power sharing sinhala people is in majority in sri lanka and tamil people is in minority in sri lanka okay and percentage of sinhala population in sri lanka is 75% and percentage of tamil people in sri lanka is 18% there are two types of tamil indian tamil and sri lankan tamil and percentage of christian population in sri lanka is 7% so you can understand how diverse population is found in sri lanka okay 
so one act was passed in the year of 1956 and that act came to be known as act of 1956 according to that act sinhala language was considered as official language and buddhism was considered as state religion so this move was discriminatory move because it was against hinduism it was against christianity and it was against tamil language because tamil language was marginalized and dominated by sinhala language and hindu religion and christian religion and islam so this religion were dominated by buddhism and it is against heart and soul of a democracy because in a democracy every religion has same uh, importance and every religion has same right to grow and same right to propagate so that move created rift between uh, sinhala's people and between tamil people as a result in the year of 1980 tamil elam that was a political organization established by tamil people came into existence and tamil elam started to demand separate states for tamil people and therefore tension it started to grow between tamil people and between sinhala's people that led to very famous civil war in that civil war lakh of tamil people and sinhala's people were killed so this all happened why because power sharing was not done in justified manner so therefore these two cases cases of belgium and cases of sri lanka is very very important in power sharing and now i am going to discuss question number 3 question number 3 is write three features of majoritarianism so dear students majoritarianism is a political belief and that political belief says that so majoritarianism is a political belief that tells that people in majority are only having right to rule their country okay and this political belief also uh, advocates to disregard minority and according to that political belief minority is second class citizen and majority is first class citizens as a result what happened in sri lanka in sri lanka you know that sinhala people was in majority and tamil people was in minority and percentage of sinhala people was 74% and percentage of tamil people was only 18% so according to majoritarianism now sinhala's people wanted to assert their dominance on tamil people as a result and now what happened as a result civil war took place between sinhalas and between tamil people of sri lanka okay they killed each other sabotaged each other and they uh, did damage to each other and it only happened because power was not shared in justified manner between sinhalas and between tamils so the case study of belgium and case history of sri lanka is very very important and in next videos we are going to discuss and we are going to understand what power sharing is and why power sharing is very very important thank you bye for now